Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at Bitmojis. I love working with these. So you need to go to the app store and you need to download the Bitmoji app. And then once it's downloaded, you can then open it. About Bitmoji is that you can choose exactly how you want your character to look. It's such a great app. So you can choose the skin tone. There are a multitude of skin tones. I mean, you can do whatever you like with this within reason, obviously. Uh, there are kind of things that you can't do, but the the scope is huge. The hair color, there's so many different hair colors. There's so many different hairstyles. Uh, there is eyes. You can change the eyes. You can change the eye colors. You can change the lips, the clothes, the size of the bitmoji. Um, you know, there is so much that you can do. You can choose male and female. And I just think that it's such a great program. And it's great for personalizing things as well. With your Bitmoji, you can then save your avatar, as it says, and you're then taken to all the different kind of possibilities that there are. So there's a favorites tab, uh, there's a love tab, there's party, there's happy, there's sad. There's so many different ones that you can choose from. So you're happy with the one that you've chosen you're able to save it now I always save directly to my Dropbox the reason for this is it will come in as a PNG which means you do not have to remove any of the background but you can save to photos or you can email it to yourself so I'm on my computer now and I've just dragged my images straight from my camera uploads into my pictures so I've come to design space and I can upload image and again, I'm just going to drag and drop the image I want. So let's do this one. I'm going to select it as a complex image. Now this one's obviously got a background picture, so I'm going to leave that. So I'm just going to go to continue. And I want to save as a print and cut. So let's choose another one. So if we go to upload image, Again, I'm going to drag and drop, so I'm just going to get my pictures up. Let's choose this one. I'm going to save as a complex. And you'll see that our background has already been taken out. So if we go to continue, and we can then save as a print and cut. So you've got a few options. You can have them just print and cut as they are. So this one will obviously just cut out this whole image. This one, it will cut out my person and then it will cut out all the hearts. And then again with this one, it will cut out the hearts and it will cut around the cat and the person. So if I wanted it to go on, say, an acrylic block or something like that, I could go to shapes and I could grab, let's just say, a square. Let's change the color to white and we're going to arrange and center back. We can then bring our square and make it the size of, say, our acrylic block. And then all we're going to do is highlight and flatten. So it will then print out the image, but it will only cut out the block. So this is going to go on a wooden block. So I've got my Bitmoji, which I'm going to do in Cricut printable vinyl. I've got my text here, which is Samantha. And then on the back of my wooden block, I've got my text here, which is the skinny. And then this one is Chasing Hearts. I've welded all of this one together because I just want it to cut out in the same vinyl. My Forever and Always and my Date will cut out in the same vinyl. And of course, this will be printable vinyl. So we can then go to Make It. So we've got our print and cut and then we've got our two vinyl um, mats. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for, mats. We can then go to Continue. Obviously with my print and cut, I'm going to send to printer, I'm going to send to my inkjet. I'm going to turn the bleed off, that's just my personal preference. Once printed, I'm going to go to browse all materials. 
I'm going to come to vinyl and I'm going to choose printable vinyl. As I say, I am using the Cricut printable vinyl today. For mats two and three, I'm going to use a Cricut premium permanent vinyl. I'm going to use the pearl today. Now this is not yet available in the UK, but nonetheless, I am going to use it because I think it's beautiful. So again, I'm going to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to vinyl and I'm going to choose premium vinyl pearl. And I'm going to do that for both mats two and three. So I've got a wooden block here. This is just a plain wooden block from Made by Tree. And of course I've got my printable vinyl Bitmoji. And then I've got my two pearlescent premium permanent vinyl. I've got some paper transfer tape here. This is from the tape which you can get from MDP Supplies. When using inkjet printables, if I'm going to use transfer tape, then I always use paper transfer tape, just because you will end up with some ink transfer. And of course, with the paper transfer tape, you're gonna end up with less ink on there than you would normal transfer tape. I've got a little overlap here, so I'm just going to place that over so that it overlaps onto my transfer tape that's already laid down. I can then go in with my Cricut Fabric Brayer, as anyone that watches me knows, this is my favourite tool, it's one of my favourite tools. I've got a few tools that I couldn't live without, and this is absolutely one of them. I'm just going to turn it over and do it from the back as well. And then of course we can come in and just peel away. We're going to add it to our wood block, and again we're just going to come in with our Fabric Brayer. Because I've overlapped this piece, I'm going to remove it first. And you can see we've got a little bit of ink transfer there with the darker black colour. But it doesn't actually affect our picture. We're then going to come in and just start gently peeling. And again, you can see we've got a slight transfer here, just on the outline areas, um, which is why, as I say, if I'm going to use transfer tape, I use paper transfer tape. 